would like to buy an arsenal for my doomsday cult compound. <laughs> We've received a tip that the FBI is planning a siege in the morning. We'd like to have a little surprise waiting for you. You mind if I ask what your cult believes in? It's very simple. I am the Messiah. <laughs> the world began when I was ripped from the belly of the holy yak. <laughs> I confiscate only the nubile young daughters, social security checks, and prescription medications of my followers. <laughs> the world will end in a blazing inferno at 10.43 a.m. tomorrow morning. Then I shall rule the world for 10,000 years. <laughs> okay, okay, I just needed to make sure you weren't some sort of a dangerous kook. <laughs> of course. You understand. Okay, uh, imagine you'll want to see some uh, semi-automatics then? That sounds great. Say, do you give group discounts? I uh, might be able to work with you all on that. Uh, didn't get your name. I am Mom Donna. Earl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, say, uh, would you like your complimentary drink now? Complimentary drink? That's right, sir. At Earl's 24-hour guns and grog, you get a complimentary drink with every purchase of an automatic weapon. That's some good marketing, Earl. In fact, I wouldn't mind a drink at all. I would like a very, very dry Bombay Sapphire Martini straight up with a twist and two olives, please. Whiskey okay? That'll be fine. <laughs> Hey, uh, what made you decide to become a cult leader? I had a divine revelation. What was it you used to do before? <laughs> no, uh, that is uh, of no importance any longer. Oh, come on, try it. I was a car dealer. <laughs> <laughs> a yes, car dealer? the money was good, but after a while it just didn't mean anything. What did you sell? I knew it! You're Burns Woodward! Burns Woodward! I got it again! I, 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 I'm sorry, Mr. Woodward. Uh, I mean, Ramada. Ramdana! Ramdana, sorry about that. You sing that song again, I'm going to Walmart for my arsenal. Don't worry, I, I can't even remember the words. All I ever really wanted was my own little fiefdom of docile drones who would sit through my warped, rambling tirades, propagate my seed, and kill and die for me at my whim. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> then I had my divine revelation, and I thought, well, why shouldn't I have that? <laughs> but somehow, deep inside, I felt that I just didn't deserve it. Then I thought, Hey, I'm the Messiah. If I don't deserve it, who does? I know what you mean, Ramdan. It's like when I got my new truck, somewhere deep down inside, I felt like I just didn't deserve it. Exactly, Earl. There are too many of us who believe that we are just not good enough. And that is one of the reasons why the world must end in a blazing apocalypse at 10.43 a.m. tomorrow morning. That and the... Freemason Trilateral Commission 4-H Club FBI conspiracy against me and my people. <laughs> kind of a shame, really. Mm. Well, you know, it isn't too late to join the chosen few and escape eternal damnation. Uh, that's okay, Ron. I'm not really the cult type. I'm a, I'm a Baptist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Earl, a religion is just a cult that's been around long enough to achieve tax-exempt status. <laughs> okay, Ramadan, uh, if you'll follow me, I'll show you to our automatic weapons atrium. I want weapons that spit hell's fire. Say, do you deliver? Well, I got my truck. Hey, Earl, what's the word? Oh, hey, Andy, well, it's kind of slow. Words, one word! Oh, you must be mistaken. No, no, I bought you meant for me back in 1980 while well, I used to do those commercials. Andy, Andy for oh, oh, You remember? Andy, you just shut up, please. Buy an arsenal, for Christ's sake. Sorry, Earl. <laughs> Why an arsenal? Tomorrow's the apocalypse. Well, I guess I wanted to buy the, the, to check the IRS then. Good one, Andy. Yeah, I have another drink, please. Uh, sure. 
So uh, what brings you down today, Andy? We're going to get a 63 O.H. Lee special. Oh, well, you're in luck. That's our back-to-school special. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> think it is. Moving target. Hit the arch. Piece of cake. Great. Why don't you give me that and uh, 50 rounds of ammo while you're at it. Okay. All together, it's going to be $530.53. Oh, what a deal. Say, uh, Earl. You don't happen to know what time the president's motorcade's come by here today, do you? <laughs> I think it's just about five minutes or so. Uh, yeah, people have been lining up all day long just to get a look at it. Oh, I guess so. And uh, 43 cents is your change. I guess so. the, the town must be crawling with Secret Service then. I haven't noticed any. Say, Andy, how's your battle with the IRS coming? They still demanding that five grand. Oh, they're demanding all right, but I got a little surprise waiting for them. <laughs> oh, yeah? What's that? Nothing. <laughs> Andy, you ain't thinking of doing anything unreasonable. Oh, I don't think it's unreasonable, Earl, because I'd hate to see you getting this some This don't concern you, Earl. Okay. Well, you want your complimentary drink now? No, I, I, I got the razor sharp. Well, how come? No particular reason. <laughs> drink might steady your nerves. You seem a little jittery, Andy. Do I? A little bit. Maybe I will have a drink then. Whiskey okay? Make it a whiskey. <laughs> Andy, have you, uh, read the Ten Commandments lately? That fucker! Oh, hey, Doris. Whiskey? Make it a double. Hi, Doris! Hey, Andy. What the hell are you doing over there? Mind your own business! Andy, I really don't want anyone shooting the president from my store. Would you back off, big brother? I was told you he was crazy. Well, he's a little upset over his tax bill. Weapon? Yeah, give me a 1910 Colt revolver. Oh, that's a lot of firepower. What happened to that New England Lady Ultra you got? Cops took it when I shot Buck. And how is Buck anyway? He came home from the hospital last week, started pulling the same shit. The beautician? Pet hospital receptionist. Now, Doris, you know it don't mean a thing. He's a dead man. And besides, he never pressed charges when you shot him last month, Doris. That's because he know he had it coming. He never does, Doris. On account he loves you. I'm going to mentally to prick. Doris, take a look up there at the fifth commandment. What does it say? Andy, this is for you, too. Thou shalt thou not commit adultery, okay. lest thy wife pop a cap in thy ass. <laughs> the fifth commandment, Doris. Thou, thou shalt, shalt not kill. kill. All right. Now, I'll sell you this weapon, but I'll expect you to abide by that commandment. Well, it doesn't say anything about not blowing his balls off. Fifth <laughs> commandment, Doris. Thou shalt not kill. $179.57. One's okay? <laughs> yes. And I'd like another whiskey. Excuse me, miss. I couldn't help but to overhear you. I, and I understand your distress. But when you think that tomorrow is the apocalypse, your worries will seem very... You look familiar. I am the Messiah. Name's on Donna Doris. He runs a doomsday cult. It isn't too late to join the chosen people and escape eternal damnation. <laughs> they are right. And you may be chosen to be an honored vessel for the Master's holy seed. <laughs> Listen, mister, I'm about to blow one man's balls off today already. One more won't mean <laughs> I see that you aren't ready for me. But when you are right, you will come to oh, me. I'll come with an axe, you bastard. Doris, he's buying an arsenal, for Christ's sake. You birds no. are alert. <laughs> Sometimes. All my, all my revelations are coming true. I, I quoted the fifth. 
fifth commandment to him, didn't I, Doris? Oh, yes, you did, Earl. You done the right thing. <laughs> maybe I maybe I shouldn't have sold him the gun. Oh, now. Guns don't kill people. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like every time I sell somebody a gun, something bad happens. Now, Earl, you just gotta be philosophical about these things. <laughs> Great shooting, baby. 